So in this demonstration, we're going to talk about the forms to equipment map. What this allows you to do is if you're capturing a data point on your form and you want to map it back to one of your equipment profiles, you can set that up. Um, a good example is vehicles and hours and mileage. Um, so kind of to, there's kind of a few steps you have to do to set that up to get that working properly. And um, the first one is going to be under manage types. That field that you are looking to map back to needs to be set up under this custom fields right here. So we'll click edit on this and I'm actually going to set one up for mileage and hours right here. So I'll just click my add button next to my custom field. I'm going to do one for mileage and I'm actually going to change the field type to numeric only and then click done. And then also do the same thing for hours and change it from text to numeric. So now that I got my custom fields created for my vehicles, I can save my changes now and then I'd be able to track those on my piece of equipment profiles right here. So now if I scroll down, I've got a spot to enter the mileage and hours. Now let's say we have a form that's already capturing that data on a daily basis. So let's say I have this inspection form that they're filling out. I actually want to click edit in here and make sure I have a few things set up, actually three fields. One is going to be a select field for them to choose that piece of equipment and then the other two fields for mileage and hours as well. So we're going to scroll down here. It actually already has our mileage and hours, so that's great. Um, if you did need to recreate them, you can click on the white drop down here and click add a field below and do a text box for the mileage and hours from there. Same kind of purpose with these fields, you can click edit on them and then you can change on the settings tab to make sure they're only capturing numbers on this keyboard option here. So I will go ahead and make sure that those are set to numbers only. And then this is a text field, so it's not giving them that pickable option for the equipment or vehicle number. So I'm actually just gonna remove this field and replace it with that select field for the equipment. To do that, you'll click this white drop down, add a field below again. You're gonna choose your selectable option. Just type the title and click create. And then the last part of this is to make sure under the settings you're tying it back to your source as your equipment section. So there is a source in there called equipment and that will allow them to choose and kind of make that connection back from the form to your equipment section from there. So now that we got those two set up in the equipment section and then set up on our form, the next part is to create our mapping so that now when they're entering that data on the form, it automatically populates back to our profiles accordingly. So now under the equipment section, you'll see the forms to equipment maps here. Once you click in here, you'll click add mapping. And then if for whatever reason you do not see your form in here, then that means it does not have a select field set up tied to your equipment yet. So just make sure you go back to the form and make sure that that's set up and then it will allow you to choose your form from there. Now I'll just choose my form. It's gonna ask which field do you have your equipment populated to? We just titled that equipment slash vehicle number. And then there's a few fields you can do to map back. So if I wanted to map back, a person from my employee section, you can have those fields, the locations, lines of business, which comp company it's assigned to um, or customer. Also an optional option is if for whatever reason, if it was unsatisfactory and you wanted to put that piece of equipment out of service, you can add a condition here from the form. It would have to be a question in the form to make it out of service, but you could say if there's like an overall condition of the vehicle, and they select unsatisfactory here, you can say, then I wanted to put that piece of equipment out of service. Um, one thing to note, we don't have an option right now to put it back into service because once it's out of service, it actually removes from the filters and drop down menus. And the only way you could really get back to it is back in your equipment section. 
filtering your in service to out of service and searching and then just reactivating it from there. Um, so if you did have that condition, it would automatically out of service it. And if you ever did need to put it back into service, you would have to go into the equipment section and find it manually that way. Um, so now we'll see any of those custom fields we set up. And it's gonna ask which text box we set up in our form to connect back to. Um, so in this case, I wanna choose my hours as hours. And you can see you can also do fun options where you either replace that number add to it every time or subtract to it. Um, so that can be helpful if you're doing any sort of like inventory type tracking too. You could create a form for the type in the totals and either add or subtract to that number. In this case, every time they update it, I just want it to replace that number and capture the current hours as well as their current mileage. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this mileage one and tag it to that mileage field that I set up in the form. And then once you have that, you just save the changes and then now it should map back every time they fill out that form. So now we'll kind of show you from the user's perspective, they would go into fill out here. And when they select their vehicle number, you're actually gonna see it's saying here, it's gonna map to that mileage field and map to hours. Once you see that, you know you've set it up correctly. If you do not see these, then you may need to go back and look at some of those uh, steps and make sure you didn't miss anything from there. So if I said that we had 101 miles and maybe 25 hours, you would fill out the rest of your inspection from here. You can hit submit. And then now if I look at this response and this profile, it should now update my mileage from zero to 101 and 25. So really that's how the mapping feature works. If you do have any questions regarding any of this, feel free to reach out to our support email at support at kpaehs.com.